Oh yeah, I can't wait to put international superstar in front of her name like I do for Pressure Bus Pipe. It's gonna happen though. I believe it. I believe it, man. The big boss is in the building. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Man, Monet, how you doing? I'm great. A little hoarse, but a little hoarse? Better than yesterday. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. several things. <laughs> so yesterday, taxi Monet. Monet's like. Can I get uh, directions to the studio? I was like, you ain't been here already? Oh, I said, like, oh yeah, you from Tola. <laughs> First of all, I'm really bad with navigation. Oh, so me let's too. let's start there. Me too. So even if I go to a place several times, I might still need the GPS a couple times before I like remember it. Understood. So, yeah. I'm from St. Croix, so I get it. I wasn't I wasn't trying to throw shade. Vivid streaming needs to be in the Apple Maps or the Google Maps. How about that? How, how about that? How about that? Up okay. to the time. Okay. okay. All right. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> See, that is how you do it when you are the big boss. Yep. That's exactly right. how you do it. <laughs> and, and because she's the big boss, Monet reached out to me. And I was like, you know who you is? <laughs> I moved some things around. I was like, yo, boom. <laughs> If, if that's what you want to do. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You no. know, when I pass through St. Thomas, I always want to take a stop here. At I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I really do. Of course. Now, let me tell you something, man. Yariko Beats, don't mind. I, I was a point guard. I'm going I'm to throw you a no-look pass just now, brother. <laughs> but, um, man, you look more stunning every time I see you. Aw, thank you. Growing and glowing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the gym. I've been getting my mental health right. I've been okay. in a good space. I feel back in tune with what I'm what I'm doing, and I think since since I've been back in tune, everything has been flowing a lot easier and better than how it's been for the past like a few years, couple of years. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, people your age don't really address things like mental health. Oh, they need to. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of older now, too. But even in the younger kids, like, a lot, the suicide rate in, like, teens and adolescents now is so much higher and stuff like that. So we definitely need to address that because our, our babies are thinking that there's right. no light at the end of the tunnel when it's just, like, simple. Not simple. I don't want to call it probably right. simple. But it's bigger issues that yeah. they could face. But I think that we definitely need to have a safe space because I feel like, Maybe in the islands, we have a taboo against, like, mental health. Right. I think, you know, you, if you go to a therapist, they're like, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. Right. But it's not that. Sometimes you just need somebody to vent to and help you work through, like, the craziness that's going on in your mind. You know? Like, in our society, uh, like, our mental health traditionally has been, he crazy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> or that person that is crazy, that everybody has Nothing around with him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but he um, just complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Monet, listen, mm -hmm. I, I sincerely, on everything, feel like you are going to be a superstar. I am. And you the deserve superstar. it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're right. You're right. Correct me. I that, am. That's why she's the big boss. <laughs> just tell me what to do. All right, we speak got, it. So we're going to speak that into existence. And uh, we got. Jericho Beats in the building. Money, money, money. What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Who you belong to? I belong to Flash. Listen, <laughs> I don't know if Flash ever told you this. Flash win $1,000 from me one time. Did he yeah. ever tell you that? Nah. Yeah, your father came to St. Croix and won a soup competition. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. Now you remember, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe we could keep this in the family. Maybe I could give Monet some money and Monet could break you off some because you... <laughs> You're the it's superstar right. producer, right? Yeah. Come on, man. Erica Beach, you know what I heard about you? Oh, well, yeah. I heard you a problem. <laughs> Is there any truth to that? Yeah, man, for sure. All right. Now, <laughs> when did you get into this music thing? Uh, my mother is a music teacher at Muller School. Oh, really? Yeah, she used to um, teach over at Corwin Terrace, too. Okay. So, um, yeah, she does get me into music from, like, young. Like, I used to play steel pan in the tall grade. Okay. And then... From there, just now, did you feel music. like that was child abuse or you were enjoying no, playing the I, I, I was enjoying it. Okay. Nah, All right. My mother used to play in Pure Passion Band too, so. Oh, really? Yeah. She's the lead singer. Sa Sandra Ann. Wendy. Sandra Ann. Oh, yeah, Sandra Ann. Sandra's your aunt. mother? Yeah. Wow. Wendy's your aunt? Yeah. You ain't got no choice. Look at this guy. Pretending like he had a choice but <laughs> to do anything but music <laughs> or cook good or food. Cook food. <laughs> Uh, how good a cook are you? Um, I gained it. You gained it? Yeah. 
Monet, do you ever cook up anything? <laughs> Monet laughing too hard, bro. I don't know. Grown talky. <laughs> Monet. Have good breakfast. Monet laughing like if I don't cook. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Um, you've been cooking up some things in the studio. Yeah, the first single is Problem. Uh-huh. Produced by me. This song been, this song been done for like years now. Uh, I've been, I've been begging her really? to drop this song. So what was the delay? Uh, don't want to get into it, but <laughs> <laughs> obstacles, but the no. timing is right now. And I'm just in a zone where I'm like, why am I holding on to music? I just have to make it happen and put it out however I can. And, yeah. and I think that, I don't know, I'm in a zone right now. I'm just trying to release and release and get that momentum okay. and the momentum and just enjoy it again. Like, stop overthinking, man. I, yeah. That's literally it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop overthinking it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm going to push the button. Yeah, push the button. She already singing it. She already singing it. I just dropped off this song. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's catchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Yariko, you, it's, it's, it's true, but you are a problem. Yeah, man. I've, been, I've been a problem, but people are going to learn that as we go now. Okay? All right, well, that's what's up, man. I see you looking around in the studio like, wow, this studio is a problem, too. I know. Don't let him be. Don't let him be humble, you know. He uh, work with big names like he work with YNW, Melly, Queen Naija, like stuff like that. Like he's yeah. he in there. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. In there. Sounds like a personal problem, Monet. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a personal problem. You problem has nothing to do with me. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it, it sounds like it came from a, a personal experiences. Yes, no. Mm, yeah. Listen, your, your, your pen game is vicious, man. Thank you. It's just one of them ones, you know. I'm going to talk my sh- Mm-hmm. Been quiet for too long. Yeah, Put some man. respect on it, right? Oh, no. <laughs> you deserve all the respect. Thank you. All the respect. Uh, I just got a text message from Shata Dobbins. He said, big tune. Big tune. Yeah, man. Hey, listen. Game recognized game. Mm-hmm. And uh, Yariko. Uh-huh. Kish is over there mouthing to me. The producer is a beast. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a big, big, big tune. Uh, go to home for that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You hate that, don't you? That was loud. Yeah. You ain't the boss of me, though. Do it again for a joke. Let's see. No. no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, like how you got that hookup or whatever, whatever you did, that means you got some real talent. Thank you. Man. So big Thank respect you. to you. I appreciate yeah. that. Oh. All right. So uh, as as it's unfolding here, um, can we expect an album? You say you just keep releasing music, but yeah. is an album coming? Uh, first, I'm going to drop a EP that has like three more songs along with Problem. Uh-huh. I'm going to drop that for the summer. So my goal is to get it out um, in August. Okay. I just need to get two of the songs mixed and mastered but for the most part they're like finished mm-hmm. so I'm gonna get that EP out and I've been putting together like an album which is a follow up to my Tropicana album so more of this like, trop- tropical vibe like my sauce and I'm gonna I'm still trying to find a, I'm just trying to make a couple more songs to complete the story that I kind of want to tell for the album like so what story do you want to tell? I don't I, I, you know I you don't, don't want to give it away? Too, yeah oh, okay. I just want it to um be versatile for sure though i just don't want the same content like a lot of the songs that i'm bringing out right now is very um it's not toxic but very like mm. um i can i don't need you and right you know you so you, let me ask you. <laughs> you ruined in my life right, 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 right. <laughs> i mean the, the pain made mary j blige a legend right you know i mean so so don't necessarily it's a pocket for, yeah right. i'm not, i have I'm, I'm gonna have more of those on the album but I also want more you got any happy da- songs? dance stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I have been like um, searching and searching to get that perfect dance song. So I've been experimenting and stuff like that. So I just want that album to to really show my full potential because I feel like I could do even more than what I've been putting right. out right now. So I just want it to be very reflective of why I'm right now as an artist and like my 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 improvement and my writing right now so yeah. that's why it's kind of like taking long because every time I write a new song I'm like okay maybe this could go on the album and then you know that that pushes it back because it takes it's a process to even get it mixed and mastered now and you know so <laughs> oh, 
oh. Uh oh. I'm getting money texts about you. Oh. Like, I'm getting money texts about you. <laughs> Let it flow. Culture the Voice says he wants an autograph. How long are you going to be here? Oh, I leave tomorrow, though. <laughs> I just. I um... think he wants to come to the studio. Bring Johnny Cake, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast yet, so. <laughs> Uh oh, Yariko, I think that was a stab. You might need an umbrella. I think she was throwing shade right there, Yariko. No, it's my fault. I took too long to get ready and I woke up late. Right. Well, perfection takes time. All right, so now who produced the next one? Um, Run the Track. So it's a producer duo from Jamaica. Okay. So it's crazy because this um, beat was reproduced a couple of times. So when I originally wrote the song, it was on their beat. Um, that was during the time when I. Um, was touring with Dexter and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I had the link through him. Mm -hmm. And then as time went on, I didn't have their direct contact. So then as time went on, I got the track reproduced and reproduced and reproduced. But then I linked up with them once again. Like I reached out. Mm -hmm. It just, the universe just has a way of it is, it does. putting things together. Yeah. And um, I, I, I reached out to them. The guy actually commented on their Big Boss. I posted Big Boss and he was like, oh, this is a big tune. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that name looks familiar. Mm -hmm. And then I remembered his tag from the beat. And I was like, wow. Like, look at how I ran back in. Like, we met right. again. So right. I, I, I sent him my demo of it. And him and the, his other partner, Melio Sounds, um, they just love the record and then they reproduce it again because you know as a producer they be losing stems and right. losing this and that so they had to reproduce it again so I think we finally got the right vibe and it was nice to do another collab with um, people from Jamaica so yeah. shout out to Run The Track that's Milio Sounds and JFK so right. yeah what, what version of Monet what version of the versatile Monet we getting on this track um, it's similar it's this okay this last one was more like I feel like a afro fusion tropical pop this is also given more like caribbean pop dance hall but the content is more like i feel like this is more in favor of the guy okay. usually i'm like you don't do that <laughs> usually i'm in favor of the woman but in this case the song is literally about a guy that's in a toxic relationship and i'm telling him that you should know better because you're a good man and you shouldn't be with this girl and i might snatch you up like oh. literally telling him like get in your head like she's not doing what she's supposed to oh so she better be careful i might like take, hey, you take a gal man <laughs> you're good at this throwing shade like, take a gal man and still not keep him okay. <laughs> oh no 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 I, I feel like you articulate the emotions of a Caribbean woman ah, like no one I has before. I love that. You like that? I love that. Yeah, I, li I like to articulate. Hey. <laughs> hey, listen, no, but for real, I mean, your storytelling in your mm -hmm. songs, your songwriting is very good. Thank you. Yeah, where did you pick up this uh, this talent? Oh gosh. It's just over time. I've been doing this a while and I feel like I've finally just found my sound. So people might just be getting to know my music now, but I had an ugly stage where I wouldn't want anybody to play that, those, those old songs I used to do. But I, just from practice and learning myself and learning the kind of music I like, learning the kind of sound I want to have, what I want to say, my message. So I think that's what it comes from and just living life right. and and letting it out experience is the best teacher yeah and also just observing like everything that i write is not me 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 like down to the t i i also want to tell women's stories you know and, and something that i know that when they sing it they could really feel right. it and i think that's just good songwriting like it doesn't always have to because when you get too personal sometimes is people just can't relate to it like they like to listen to it but they're not feeling anything deeper than right. oh this sounds good right you know so sometimes you know i it comes from a place that's special and personal to me but i always include something that i know that anybody could really feel hey listen man even your curse words are perfectly placed yeah <laughs> 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 i know like for real like um in true Caribbean fashion, right? Like, I, I remember one time, like somebody was like, "Man, I, I love that that song," and then you put in, you put in uh, that MS, and it was. Oh it was yeah, just, yeah, yeah! It was just perfectly placed, though. Yeah, yeah. 
And that, and that is just something a, 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 a VI woman was, listen, just yes, move. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I want that, like, I be thinking about life too. Like when I sing it, I want the ladies yeah, in the crowd to sing yeah. that part loud. Like, and really they love that it. part. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you are well received on stage. Like, mm-hmm. Your, your stage oh, presence is is, is nice, man. Oh, thank you. That's my favorite. Like you got part. real fans, man. Like yes. you got fans, fans. Yes, thank you guys so much. They are like this trip home too, because I just came back from Tatola, so I had like I had a show, and then I did like this pop up release party for the the problem single and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I've just come to appreciate every moment. Like, like I said, like before, I used to always be so focused on, oh, the amount of people that's at the show or right. like, oh, like I need to be this place and this. And now it's just like, yo, if I have 20 people there that you knows make them all 20 my people songs rock. and singing it and the energy, I care more about energy because you could be in front of a big room and like people just standing there. Like I wouldn't feel how I would be when I perform in front of 20 people that are my core fans, you know? I know you have to go out there and sometimes the performers will be observant because they don't really right, know you. Right, right. But my favorite is when I just have a group of people that just give it A group of rowdy VI girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I know. <laughs> it's the energy for me. No doubt, no mm-hmm. doubt. Now, hey, Yariko, what I, what I want to tell you, bro, is that... um. Doing your dirty and problems sound like they are supposed to be next to each other. You, you know what I mean? So I appreciate your work because problems is indeed a problem. Big respect, my brother. You yeah, thanks. All right. So what's next for you, sir? Uh, right now, we're just, you know, grinding it out in Atlanta, just trying to get in the studio with these big artists, you know? Yeah. So that's that's really what I'm doing up there. Okay. So you're in Atlanta, too? Yeah. All right. That's what's up. All right, Monet, what's next, man? The EP. When? So I said three more songs in they're August. Done? In August. Are I have they two done? More, two more songs I have to mix, but they're done. Like okay. I just have to send them to get mixed. Two H- more. How do you feel about those two more? Uh, it's well, three more. Sorry. I feel good. He produced literally like he, he's touched all of them on the EP. So this okay. is really like a kind of like a joint. Um, so this is Yariko's showcase. Basi- Forget about you. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, but I have Nova on there as well. And then I Nova have... Nova Elite? Yep. And then I have the same guys again run the track on one track. There's this one track I'm so excited about. Oh, really? It's different because it's about partying and, and drinking. And I mean... You know, drink responsibly. Of course. But it's just about being outside and having a good time. And and the whole project basically is about doing whatever you want to do. Like, as a woman, I'm not going to let a man tell me if I can't go outside, what to wear. Like, it's just that vibe, like, with or without you. I'm, I'm thinking that that might be the name of it. With or without you. Another woman's anthem. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the song, the EP. Oh, okay. With or without you. Oh, that, that part about you can't tell me what to wear. You're just tapping yes, into like, all like, it them. just, uh, I, that's my message. I just want women to know, like, especially if you're in a toxic situation, like, just, if you can, just get out because there's always better, like, you always feel like you're stuck and there's nothing else and this is what I know, but just change your mindset and everything will be attracted to you. That's good. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was deep. <laughs> Hey, so um, in in what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. You, you never know who your audience is. Yeah. Uh, today I'm playing your music, and I, I get a text from somebody that that is a friend of mine who I mm-hmm. feel like is far too humble, because um, <laughs> he's one of the great songwriters of the Caribbean. Writes mm-hmm. for all the greats, and uh, bam, there he is, like magic, <laughs> wanting to see you. You know what I mean? So, um, do you work with any writers, or is it just all you? Because again. Your pen game is impeccable. Thank you. It's just all me, but I've um I'm open to writing with um working with writers. My issue has always been like finding people that understand my vibe. Like, first of all, the Caribbean vibe, and then just check. and then the crossover vibe with that. Check, you know, check. so yeah, I'm definitely open to working with writers. I've been saying that for a minute now, but I just haven't found a good fit yet. Look at God. The right fit just <laughs> walked in the room. <laughs> No, you plugging him hard. You no, put, he, put him on payroll. Put no, him he's on payroll. legit. No, he's I know, legit, I know, legit. I know, I know. He's ready for people. I know who he's ready for people. All right, yeah. all right. There you go. Hey, Monet, <laughs> I, always a pleasure. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your talent. I appreciate your I work. I appreciate you. I appreciate the message. Um, 
quite an eclectic young lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The same person that, that, that said, MS just move <laughs> has got a scripture on her arm. Is that a scripture? Yes. All right. Oh, don't get it twisted. I love the Lord. I know. I, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but, but read, read the scripture. Um, it says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So what do you desire? What does that heart desire? Uh, all things good. All things positive. All things that align with my purpose and not just... This is different now because I'm telling you I'm more, no, you speak, I'm more enlightened. You speak like you're 55 <laughs> years old. I'm more enlightened. <laughs> I just want to fulfill the purpose that God has for me. And, and I want to understand. I think the biggest thing is just accepting that that might not look like what I have planned. Basically. <laughs> you know, so I'm just trying to be in a zone where it's just like grateful and content for the little things right and because i've been doing that more i feel like the big things are coming to me you more inspire now me again you, you inspire know? me what is man thank you damn <laughs> i feel like i should pay you every time you come here listen I, i'm not like i haven't mastered i was it yet. only joking <laughs> No, I'm gonna take your word for it. I'm gonna be back like run that check. If I if I plug into Vivid Streaming and you're saying what I was saying today, I'm gonna be like run that check. <laughs> hey, Yariko, next time you come, you need to bring me some of your father's seafood soup, okay? I got you for sure. No, I mean you've been disrespectful, bro. <laughs> you next time you come, bring some Johnny cake. I need my people to act. Yeah, right. I don't even want to speak to you without the Johnny cake. <laughs> <laughs> VI Stars, VI Music, VI Culture. Yep, there's an app for that. It's called Vivid Streaming, and you can download it in the app and Google Play Store.